Logger is a package that is small, easy to use and extensible logger which prints beautiful logs in our console. Let's get started. To use logger package, we add logger package in our pubspec.yml file. Next, in our homepage.dart, we create three elevated buttons to navigate to logger page 1, logger page 2 and logger page 3 screens respectively. In our logger page 1.dart, we create a text widget wrapped by a center widget and a floating action button to print the logs with different types. The logger package has six types of logs, verbose, debug, info, warning, error and WTF. Relax guys, here WTF means what a terrible failure. Now you can see the logs printed in our console if I press the button. Do you want to learn Flutter in a better and faster way? Then simply join our 12 week Flutter training on heyflutter.com where you master all the Flutter topics such as Start, UI Design, State Management, Firebase, Clean Architecture, Databases and so on by watching our structured courses that help you for each topic to go from a newbie until an expert level in Flutter. Next in our logger page 2.dart we assign the logger object to our logger variable with the property printer set to pretty printer. Having Properties method count, which is number of method calls to be displayed. Error method count, which is the number of method calls if stack trace is provided. And line length, which is the width of the output. Next, in our body, we created the text widget and a floating action button, same as before. In the on press function of our button, we printed multiple logs with the properties message and error. Now, here you can see if I press the floating action button, our logs has been displaced in our customized method. Next, in our logger page 3 dot dart, we have called our logger function with the property logger page 3 which is basically our stateful class and assign its result to the variable named log. This is our logger function which takes a type as its parameter and returns a logger object with the printer property set to custom log printer that we have created. The custom log printer is initialized with the string representation of the type object passed as an argument to the logger function. This is our custom log printer class that extends log printer and takes the class name as an argument to show from which class is the logger showing in console. Next, we override the log method of log printer class and defines a variable color which is assigned the value of color associated with the log level of a log event. Next, we define a variable emoji which is assigned the value of emoji associated with the log level of log event. Next, we define a variable message which is assigned the value of message associated with the log level of a log event. After that, we return a list of a string having the color, emoji, class name and message. Now, coming back to our logger page 3.dart. Here, we have created multiple elevated buttons named verbose, debug, info, warning and so on to display their respective logs. Now, if I press verbose button, you can see the verbose log is printed on the console. And if I press debug or info or warning, or error or WTF button, then their respective logs would be printed on the console.